Did you rip it? No. <laughs> the steak fell off. Like, it broke off. Nice. Your steak broke? Yeah, it broke. Oh, man. Again. Again? Yeah. Oh, man. What, how does the inside? Oh, it's kind of dirty. A little dirty, but hey, it's livable. The young woman used it last. It made it across and, and back without being filled with water. So that's good. However, it still sunk. <laughs> it floated. It was only half sunk. Um, it was pretty fun to see people try and get across with the boats. It was pretty fun just to see that. But it looked, they looked pretty lucky because it looked like it felt pretty good to be in that water. The thing that's been mo the most fun is probably just hanging out all together and Probably actually the meals because we just get to be all together and get to talk. You feel like eating? Yeah. <laughs> I really liked um, just sort of like the downtime that we've had. Just been able to spend time with our ward and just and talk and just have a and just grow closer to each other and just yeah, have fun together. Service is um, a big part of the gospel because um, Jesus Christ told us that when you're in the service of your fellow beings, you're only in the service of your God. And a lot of people use this campground. So if we make it nice and pleasing and comfortable for them, then we are serving Him. My favorite part of today was probably the service in the morning. We are doing a service project where we are picking up all the deadfall on the hiking trails. All of it. <laughs> right now we're all working on cleaning up this foresty thing. We are moving logs and taking down branches. We were like cleaning up all the big logs and the twigs and all the leaves and like cutting the branches that are like dead. <laughs> So I was in the group that went and like picked up sticks from the ground where they had people come take pictures and like rake out the leaves and stuff. They were like sawing up logs. So we just got to like clean up all this trash out of the floor of the forest and put it over in a big pile. It looked a lot better when we were done.
caught that. Whoa. This is not good. Uh, Are you okay? I'm good. Oh, good okay, well. <laughs> I'm getting it. Potential hazard is that like it could, I don't know, somehow it might set on fire or somebody might get a really bad bug bite, <laughs> getting stabbed in the eye. <laughs> Trees falling on it. <laughs> Potential hazards are death. Cutting yourself on the sticks or like. Getting hit by the shovel, the weed whacker, and the chainsaw. That was all dangerous. I don't know. Bugs crawling in your pants. <laughs> That's hazardous. The tree breaking out of nowhere and falling on top of all the kids. Fires. I don't know, like wildfires, because it's so hot. <laughs> um, dying of heat exhaustion was very, you know, because it wasn't sun, but it was heat. I don't know, branches could fall your head like they already have. And, yeah, that was that. We're just tripping and dying. Being poked in the eye by a branch. It's fixed. Because people could be like poked in the eye with like sticks on accident or the shovels. Like tree branches, you could get scraped. There was some stinging nettle and. There was like this one tree that had like. Um, that the roots were really big and some of them had gone a little up and up. a few people had gone up there and I was afraid that you were gonna like fall or something. I was like trying to be a little cautious. So That's good. someone get, might get smushed with a tree. Um, service is important to um, this gospel and to us because um, it really makes you think outwards and Christ would not want us to be selfish and to, I mean, Christ, his whole purpose was outwards he, and I feel like it just helps us become more Christ-like. It's what Jesus did his whole life. like. He's always serving. It's what he would be doing if he was here now. <laughs> Ice! Woo! <laughs> uh, I think service is an important part of what we believe because uh, it's it's a big part of what we believe. And um, I know, like, I had friends that I didn't really like before, and after I served them, like, I just felt like they were better friends, and I had I made a better friendship with them. Service is an important part of the gospel because uh, I think the most important thing for us to strive for as members of the church is uh, to follow Christ's example and his whole life was dedicated to service so I think that's a good source. I will help my neighbors no matter who they are and what service they're doing uh, and also because well I love doing services for other people. It teaches you to be kind to others, to really be sensitive to their needs. Service is just, helps you become more like Christ. Because service teaches us um, to not be like needy, just be grateful, to help people, not expect a reward after. Slip inside? Yes. Yeah. So what's so fun about the slip inside? I'm soapy. You're soapy? Because so it's I'm soapy. slipping and I'm we're so sliding. Because of the youth conference, I'm going to, I think, put a lot more faith in the Lord. Because of youth conference, I'm going to try to look at things 
in a better perspective and with a more open mind. I'm definitely going to try to remember the Sabbath better. Because of youth conference, I'm going to be nicer to people, see where they come from. Uh, because coming here has changed me so much, uh, I really, what I really want to enjoy doing is just go on my own spiritual journey to go find myself and uh, find what I'm really about. Uh, to find something that will lead me even further into the path that God has given us. I'm going to tell my family I love them, give my parents and sister a big hug, and then sleep forever. Every teenager has low self-esteem. Matter of fact, my experience is, is that most of us have low self-esteem. Um, because of life and the things that we do, we, we do struggle in, in, in a, lot, a lot of ways. And so we hope that when, the t when teenagers feel the Holy Ghost, that they will be reminded that they do have worth, that there is a Heavenly Father that loves them, that they have leaders that love them, and that even though the world may be telling them that they are of no worth, that they really do have worth. It's service and your relationship with your Heavenly Father and the Savior that brings true self-worth. Self-worth comes when you feel the love of Jesus Christ.